Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So today we're over on the pay to win account and we are looking at the Twisted Realm boss or the Twisted Essence, the Fabled Realm, whatever you happen to be in. So we're gonna look at the team comps that are most effective when it comes to Arden the Unhinged. So ultimately looking at the leaderboards, it is Raku guys. So Raku is Ben topping the charts as you can see here, 713 billion damage. That is right guys, billion damage. One thing about Raku though, is you do not want him to alt. So it's very, very interesting. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna challenge him. We are gonna use our Raku team comp. So I set up my formations in here. There we go. So it is going to be comprised of Raku and Grez. We have Mortis up there, we have Twins, and we have Warwick in here for the massive, massive debuff. Artifacts are the Eye, the Eye. We are running Double Call, and then we're running the Chaos Bringer on Warwick. To go ahead and finish these out and like i said we do not want him to alt so we're going to take off alt so we're going to slow this down we actually want this team to go ahead and alt together so like we've seen in a couple of the videos boom so we just need warwick's alt in there there we go so that is how we're going to alt so we do not want again we do not want raku to go ahead and um alt at all because it nullifies his damage same problem that we've always seen when it came to um, Isabella, Isabella had a big problem with alting, is when she alted, she lost a ton of damage from alting, which again, didn't really make much sense because ultimate ability should be doing a ton more damage. And it seems like I'm a little slow on this one, um, that Mortis should have probably alted a little bit more than that, but we can do it one more time and we will just alt as soon as we can with these heroes to try to maximize their damage. I know without having Raku's furniture, um, I don't do as much damage as a lot of other players will, but ultimately guys, trying to get the minions up here, trying to do quite a bit of damage, at least scoring a little bit high in this one. We've got a couple seconds left here. So 246, so nowhere near what we did there. Even here, Grez did a ton more damage than Raku did, and that is because of his furniture, guys. So I do not have his plus 30 signature item. I do not have his furniture, which is very, very reliant to doing a lot of damage. Even there, we did 965. So I'm going to do one more run with that current team comp, and I'm just going to alt the heroes the second that it is available to alt. So we're going to have Mortis, it looks like, first. Boom, there's his alt going off. And as soon as I see an alt up, it looks like twins. Then we're going to go ahead and there's Grez, there's Warwick. Mortis can already buff again. The call doing a ton, allowing him to get a ton of energy in there. And remember, guys, we only have him built to a plus 10 signature item as well. Raku just sitting right there, not really doing much of anything. So boom, we're going to have a bunch of alts here. And again, this one, we're not waiting to alt together. We're just going to go ahead and alt the heroes as they come up. And now I heard this isn't as effective as we just seen. But look at the bars, guys. So they are filling up really quick. There's the big buff from the twins. Mortis seems like he's getting a couple more buffs out this time, which is good because he literally just died when we said that. And look at that, Raku went down early. So now we can just turn it on auto and we can let it run. A couple seconds left. We're probably not going to live for the last couple seconds. So ultimately it seems like running them together is better. So 152 on that attempt. But like I said earlier, because I don't have Raku, um, we're going to look at some other formations. So two other formations. One is right here. So comprised of Saurus. Saurus is one of the Twisted Realm boss or one of the Twisted Realm superstars, one of the boss killers. So ultimately, we're going to rely on his healing ability with Grez's minions. Mortis for the buff, Warwick for the debuff, and the twins for the buff. Running with the same, we're going to run with the um, eye on him for the big attack speed boost. Usually, if you're under the five-star eye, the Chaos Bringer will do a little bit more damage. But ultimately, because we have that eye max out, we're going to go ahead and let this run. And these alts don't make a difference. So we're just going to let this one run. Mortis is going to buff as soon as he can. The point of this one is getting up mass minions. As you see right here in the back, um, Saurus is healing these minions well, Grez just keeps bringing more and more and more minions up with the shield, allowing um, Arden, Arden cannot kill the minions faster than we're bringing them up. 
And this is usually the comp that does a lot more damage for me because again, I don't have Raku max out. As you can see here, guys, damage looking pretty good so far, but Grez went down early on this one, but 179. So let's see. So, so far the first one where we ulted everyone together has been the strongest. So we're gonna run this one more time. Hopefully we can keep the battle up and then we'll run a final alt or a final combination of heroes in just a moment, which we'll look at, which is comprised of rows. So actually swapping rows into this formation because um, a lot of players don't have Mortis built. He's very, very rare. We've said to build him to E plus, um, Elite plus. So you can go ahead and use him in the Abyssal Expedition. So you can use him in the Twisted Realm because essentially guys, once he buffs everyone, if he dies out, that is completely fine. Once in this formation specifically because of Grez, he will continue to buff Grez's minions as you've seen right there. So if he stays up, all the heroes are buffed and then the minions start being buffed after that. And this is again, what I usually see when it comes to me doing the most damage with this formation. As you can see, considerable amount of damage. Grez didn't die, Source didn't die. 361, so that takes us to 632. All right guys, so the four, final formation, we'll actually swap into this one. Again, this one swaps, puts Rowan in here, and it puts Rose in here. So this is a, a kind of a, a cheaper version of the comp, especially, again, if you're not in the Fabled Realm, if you're not far into the Twisted Realm. Um, ultimately, this is an inexpensive comp because Soros you're gonna build, Grez you're going to build, Rowan you're gonna build, the Twins you're gonna build, Rose, Either or, you could even swap out robes for possibly rain if you have rain built. But ultimately, guys, looking at the relics here, we have double calls. We have the blade on Rose because remember, Rose is going to follow one of these two, meaning she is going to buff them. And there you go. So she is following Grez. That means that when Rose ults, um, Grez is going to do more damage and his minions are going to come up like absolute crazy. Ideally, you want Rose to follow Soros to go ahead and continue him to alt, but we are gonna run Arden over here with minions because of um, Rez's double alt. Double alt, plus his minions come up with a shield, which makes it very, very powerful. But ultimately, guys, these are three solid formations. I'm building out Raku right now. We're building out Kazard. We're building out a ton of different heroes, but Grez went down very early in this one. So ultimately, Rose will swap to Soros, allowing him to double alt. So the damage here is coming in pretty high as well. 331. So still with my team combination, the 361 was the best, running on Soros with Grez, of course, with the big debuff from Warwick, Mortis for the buffs, and the Twins for the buff, because ultimately not having Raku built is what really kills this formation. Raku, really, really strong when it comes to having him built. We have him ascended, but two things. One, right here, normal attacks deal an additional 15% of the current target's health. Arden has a ton of health, meaning this does a crazy amount of damage because remember, it's normal attacks. We're not reliant on his ultimate ability. Then of course, right here, normal attacks with strike enemy, reduce the cooldown of Peckish, which is the buff he gives to himself. So having that three piece bonus in there and having his plus 30 signature item will make a very, very big difference on Raku. So guys, that will do it for Arden the Unhinged. I'm running through a couple formations. When I start getting a lot of different questions about the Fabled Realm or the Twisted Realm bosses, um, I like to just go ahead and pop up a video about a couple formations that a lot of players are using. So go ahead, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.